Hey Brandon, Casey here with Constructive Realty Inspections. Finishing up over here in uh, Georgetown. Nice little place, man. I, you can't, this is just incredible from the back porch. A um, few things that I wanna go over. Uh, I wanna show you here, since you guys aren't able to be here to take a look at the place with me. Um, tell you what, we'll get started with the outside. How's that? I tell you what, man, they are working hard putting these houses up. Uh, over here, first thing, this is going to be your AC condensing unit. <clears throat> In those hot summer months, it's going to be blowing hot air straight up and into your makeup air vent. This is a vent that pulls air inside the house, so essentially the HVAC is going to be working against itself both in the summer and the winter, because I'm guessing this is probably a heat pump. So uh, that's not the only thing. Also, this dryer vent is pretty close, man. Definitely within six feet of the condensing unit. And so there's a good possibility that's gonna be sucking lint into the coils of that condensing unit, which could clog up well after your warranty expires. What a mess that would be. One thing I'm seeing on all sides here is that the masonry ledge has this lip on it and this lip is going to prevent water from flowing out of the weep holes it's going to hold water you can see how it's already cupping the masonry flashing here so it's just going to want to hold water into this little cup which is going to hold it against your sheathing here and uh, that's a big no-no this has to be flat 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 and uh, if it's not promoting drainage then it's promoting whatever the opposite of drainages is, would be not drainage? Retention. That's the word I'm looking for, retention. So I can see that they've used the wrong fasteners. These are okay to put up, but uh, these are considered temporary. You gotta have the plastic capped fasteners that give uh, a larger surface area. All the manufacturers require plastic capped staples with larger a larger head for that greater surface area. They don't always have to be plastic capped. They can be these two, like they use on the roof, but I never see these used on this stuff. Obviously they haven't finished fastening all of this uh, cellulose fiber sheathing. So that needs to be fastened. Again, with this ledge, this little lip on the side of the brick ledge, big no-no. What they do in the framing stage is these guys they always put the pretty side of the wood up. You know, the wood's ugly in general, and it's always got sides like this that are ugly, and so they put this down where they can't see it. The problem is, this gets filled up with concrete and leaves, leaves that little lip. So that needs to be fixed. Oh, here's another little thing. They cut the STHD. For what reason, I know not. They came in and installed an HTT5 which is pretty close, pretty close. And with the Masa anchor and this extra hold down, uh, this extra anchor bolt, it's probably okay. Um, I think these give you about a thousand pounds less of tension resistance, but uh, it's probably as good as you're gonna get. Speaking of HTT4s, fives, these need to be, needs to be tightened down. Moving inside the house here, looks pretty good overall. A few odds and ends, we'll start here in the garage. So this bracing here, these two straps, form of an X, that tells me that this is a shear wall. So any shear wall is supposed to be anchored to the concrete, to the slab, just as an exterior wall would be. So that would be uh, proper anchor bolts. You've got some shot pins every three feet or so, not quite enough. A couple places around the house, well pretty much everywhere on the interior shear walls, uh, you don't have proper anchorage. So they need to add some more um, shot pins or some proper bolts. Moving here to the kitchen. Plumbers chopped out a big chunk of this two by six to run their pipe, decided not to run their pipe. And so the reinforcement tie that they had in here, the stud shoe, um, they sliced it out. 
The manufacturer of these states that, of course, you're not supposed to cut or alter these in any way because it can affect the uh, design strength. So uh, this should be, honestly, what they should probably do <clears throat> is run another stud right up next to it all the way up. But we'll see what the builder says about that. Here in your primary bedroom, window doesn't shut. It's not because it doesn't want to shut. But somebody popped a staple in the frame. Won't let it shut. Coming up here into the living room. Uh, it looks pretty good overall. One thing I did notice is that you're missing lateral bracing along the tops of these joists here. You can see this, uh, they call it a rat run, colloquially. But this uh, piece of lateral bracing that goes across, this helps to prevent rotation. You don't have that in this section of joists. So you can see the ends are just kind of sitting there, just chilling. It wouldn't take a lot for those to roll over. So that needs, that needs some uh, bracing. Now here in the same area, I noticed that you've got this support member. It goes way up from the ceiling down to its bearing point on top of this wall. Now this guy, he's carrying a lot of weight. If you take a good close look at him, he's pretty, come on thing, dang it. He's pretty bowed. You can see how he's got that, that big bow in it, despite having the, the strong back, that, that T-back behind it. Ah, uh, this needs to be further secured, man. You, you don't want that to, uh, to lose strength. Let's hold it up your roof. Let's see, a few other little odds and ends will be in the report. Um, but the last thing I wanted to show you was this. You've got your return air vent, a uh, big, nice 10 inch vent sucking air in, coming through. It's meeting up with the return air here, but you can see they have smashed it. They have greatly reduced the diameter of that vent. Not just that one, but the one adjacent to it as well. So these serve the front two bedrooms, this bedroom here, and then this bedroom here. Uh, return air is very important. Um, you don't get a full, uh, it's, it's very difficult for that air to cycle through if you don't have proper return air. So cold air comes out here. Uh, conditioned air goes back into here and then through into your return air vent and then back to be reconditioned. Oh, you're missing some hangers here. It's funny, they've got hangers on these little short blocks, but just on, just on one side. And then these, the ones where it really matters, uh, right here, they don't, they, damn it. They've got it uh, toenailed. So you've got the hanger there, but no hanger there, which is the one that is side loaded with all of these little baby joists. So hangers all around. You get a hanger, you get a hanger, you get a hanger. That's it, man. Um, I'll get this report out to you tonight. Let me know if you have any questions, give me a call. Uh, I did talk to your builder briefly. Super nice guy, man. Um, I mentioned a couple of things that I had found early on that I had found before, uh, you know, before he had arrived, but uh, didn't go through the entire thing because I had just started my inspection really. So um, if that fellow's got any questions, you know, I'm available to talk to him too. You know, the, the idea is that you get the best quality products. And I think me and the builder are both trying to help you work to that end. So um, like I said, let me know if you have any questions. Thanks, man.